Can you believe this shit? Um, uh, what's his face? Grit wants me to do a Skype challenge with him, but then he blocks me. You know, it, it's starting to seem like Grit is a lot like uh, Mr. F. Zion with blackface, because he acts very much like Mr. F. Zion. And, you know, I'm going to ask all of you, my viewers, should I do a Skype challenge with this guy? I mean, that is awfully ungrateful of him. You know, here I go out of my way and take the time to say, okay, Grit, I'll play along with your little game and Skype challenge you, and then he fucking blocks me. What kind of shit is that? Well, this is the same ingrate that was attacking James Evangelical 99 who has done nothing but be nice to the guy. And, you know, that that's partially what he gets for being nice. I mean, I like James Evangelical 99, but he's going to have to learn that people are mean and hateful. And you're going to have to have some thick skin, and you're going to have to be careful who you're nice to. You know, that this is why I'm not a nice guy, because I know how people are. You know, I'm nice when I need to be. I'm nice when people deserve me to be. You know, of all my friends I'm nice to because I know they're good people. But I'm not going to be nice to strangers because I don't know yet if they are worthy of being nice to because I know the shit they do. I know they're shitheads like Gris who are ungrateful for the sacrifices we make for them. And that's why I'm a communist. Because here we go and we work all our lives for other people and we work for to sustain this society and we work so everyone can have nice things and that's not enough for everybody. You know, you, you go to a job. And you work hard just to get the fucking job. And then they turn around and expect you to be perfect for minimum wage. Fuck that. You know, I know people that, uh, they work in call centers and they expect them to get the call done with in like 20 minutes. No exception. And they have to say certain things and they have to do it a certain way and if they don't, they get written up and shit like that. They expect them to be perfect. You don't pay anybody nearly enough to be perfect. You're lucky people come in with fucking pants on. And because they're the bourgeois, because they own the means of production, they think they can get away with acting like that. And to a lot of extent, they can, and that's why we have to fight back against them. This is something that completely eludes uh, Griff's entire perception of the revolution. You know, he's so busy worrying about what Jim Prophet is doing. Guess what, Grits? You're the proletariat, you're working, be angry with your fucking boss, not with me. I'm not your boss. I'm not the one paying you a shit wage. I'm not the one putting you through these ridiculous expectations. And certainly James Evangelical 99 isn't. He's been nothing but nice to you. And you attack him because you're an ungrateful bastard. You're a conceited asshole that thinks the entire world revolves around you. And something I said pissed you off, and I'm glad it pissed you off. I wish I made you feel like that all the time. Because you're showing your true colors right now that you don't care about anyone but yourself. So this is why I'm having second thoughts about debating with you. Not because I'm worried about you poning me. Not because I'm worried that somehow I won't have what it takes to, you know, assert my position. It's because you're a loser. It's because you're a butthole. And I don't want to waste my time on you. If you're going to treat your friends like that, if you're going to treat me like that, where here I go out of my way to say, all right, fine, let's do this, and you fucking block me, you're not worth my fucking time. You're a piece of shit. So, you know, to all my friends, please, tell me what you think I should do. You think I should still debate this son of a bitch, or should we just forget about him and let him crawl in his little hole and die as he alienates himself from everybody because, ooh, he's mad, grit smash. And meanwhile, he backstabs his friends and shit. No wonder why he's such good buddies with Geno360. They're a lot alike, too. So, I guess that's it.